First at 4.30, the wildfires were fueled by dry, invasive grasses, leading to calls for better land management on Maui. One farmer says his experience proves it can save lives, and as Daryl Huff reports, there are high-tech tools that can make the job more manageable. The whole entire um, trailer blown out from the farm. Eddie Garcia documented the wind damage at Living Earth Systems Farm at Laniopoku. When the fire came, he says it stopped where he'd recently cleared invasive growth, the circled area below the blackness. It did burn, but it couldn't go anywhere. Since sugar collapsed on Maui, invasive grasses took over barely managed expanses, also prone to drought, wind, and of course fire, which will bring calls for more aggressive fire prevention tactics, like drought resistant crops and fire breaks. That should speak loudly to the need for management and the need for everyone to pay attention the shape things are in. They can't just be left without some sort of maintenance. I am a researcher studying AI machine learning algorithms for taking satellite data. Hannah Kerner from Arizona State mashed the satellite images and sensing data to map areas by dryness, which could help target the first areas to work on. You can look at things like how um, close these dry areas are to um, you know, towns or homes, certain types of, of other kind of land cover and land use. The government or other um, community organizations could use data like this to understand which areas might be at greatest risk of, um, of wildfires and of burning. Intelligence from outer space to augment gut instinct. We knew it was a fire hazard because our farm the month before had almost burned and we had to fight that. And so we were very paranoid and also being responsible land managers, this is something that hasn't been done or looked at by anyone in like 30 years. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.